Hey YouTube, Crazy Dad here. It's like they know. It's like they know when the camera's on. Say hi. Hi. Oh, you've got a mucky face. They had hot dogs for lunch. So we're back. We uh, finally got our move in. Took us three days to do it. And very sore. Very, uh, uh, a lot of heavy lifting. But I need to see you to see my, 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 my face. Your face. There. Mucky face. Um, and, uh, yeah, we had to lift, but my buddy and I had to lift our couches. Well, one of them, it's, we have a sectional. And so the one, <laughs> well, you too. One of them we had to lift and take it all the way up three flights of stairs because it wouldn't fit in the elevator. And then <laughs> the other one has a pull-out couch. And that one, as we were bringing it through the uh, front door, uh, the uh, pull-out bed fell out and got wedged in the door, to which I got pissed off and swore at it and smashed my hand on it and practically almost broke my hand. I mean, I didn't, but it felt like it because it hurt because I hit the wood part. Um, so that took forever. And... You know, it was just a lot of heavy lifting, and I just, by the end of the day, three days, I was just spent. I was tired, I was sore, and I just wanted to be over with. So, I know the, the view looks the same, but, but trust me, at the very end of the hall down there, that's, that's the third bedroom. And that third bedroom, as my wife says, is big enough that you can put all of our furniture in there and still swing a cat. No, 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 Sandra, don't touch. You don't need to see the camera. I'll show you after. Um, so we're, we're almost pretty much unpacked. Um, we got... Oh, yeah, so if you're looking behind me and you're looking at all this wiring, uh, let me explain I, I that to you. I want to see some. Okay, Sandra, come on. Go see Mom and get your face wiped up clean. Then you can no, go back. no, no, no. Go get your face wiped up. No, I don't want to. Sorry. Um, so we went with... Tell us uh, for internet, phone, and cable um, here at the place because we had it before when we lived in the old townhouse that you guys remember us doing the videos at, and then we moved to the two bedroom. Um, but with there, with the two bedroom, they were able to put the wire underneath the carpet. And okay, thanks. Food's ready for me. <laughs> and. Um, they were able to put the wire under the carpet so it looked clean and neat and didn't look like this. This was, as far as I'm concerned, a disastrous installation on the technician's part. Um, according to him, he needed permission to put it underneath the carpet and like he just, as far as I'm concerned, the lazy job of installing it. Like, I'm sorry, you're probably getting paid 20, 30 bucks an hour to do the installation. So there's no reason why you can't do it properly. Okay? Um, this looks like a freaking movie set. You know, I joked with my, my wife's uh, father-in-law, stepfather-in-law. I said, you know, I got enough wire in here, all I need are some floodlights, and I can start my own porn studio. Like, it really looks that bad. Um, here, I'll see if I can show you the other side. You see how it goes up? It goes along the cart. You know? Like, it's just... It's ridiculous. It really is. So then I had another technician come back out to look at it. And he looks at it. Oh, good wire chop! And, yeah, sorry. Yes, he was Asian. And not mocking them or anything. I just... That's how what he said. Quote, unquote. Oh, good wire chop! No, it was not a good wire job, I said. I said, I don't like that. I want another carpet... And I want a phone jack on the wall over where the computer is here. And I'll put the modem there. And he looks at me like it's the biggest pain in the ass job ever. It's it's not. If I'm the one paying the service monthly, I don't understand why it's that hard to, to do that for me. Now, I found out later from my manager that I did need... You okay? Um, I did need actually permission if I was going to have him put the wall or the phone jack on the wall. I did need to get written permission, so I can live with it. I've sorted it out. I've got the wires underneath, tucked back underneath the uh, desk here. So 
that got all done. Um, now, part of the deal that we got by signing up with them, because we were we, we had to switch from Telus to Shaw when we moved to, to the two bedroom, because Telus wasn't available uh, in the apartment. And that was a kerfuffle, clusterfuck, whatever you want to call it, within itself, because I didn't want to go back to Shaw. I really enjoyed Telus. They got a good selection. Um, anyways, when I was with them, it looked I looked at the bill and I realized I was going to pay about two hundred and ten dollars and seventy five cents a month. And I'm like, for what? Okay, no conjunct, great. An HD PVR, or DVR if you're in the States. Um, same thing. It's just a different name. Um, and a set-top box for the bedroom. Ooh, $210 for that? No. So tell us, I get the HD PVR, I get the set-top box, and they threw in an Xbox 360 with connects. Which is freaking awesome as far as I'm concerned. Now, of course, yes, you're signed up for three years. Ooh, my hair is a mess. I got the poofy thing going here. Okay. Mental note. Have makeup fix my hair before I go on camera. Um, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, I just, I, I like that. And, of course, when I called to cancel with Shaw, they're like, oh, you know you're locked into three years. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I'm locked into a three-year term with my cell phone company. What's the difference? No! Hey! So, hey! Hey! I'm getting I love being called the crazy dad. <laughs> So, we switched back. We got that all hooked up and everything. Um, so, a couple of questions for my viewers out there. One, recommend me a good video game. So you can leave that in the comment section below or make a response video for that. Uh, two, good placement for the sensor for the Xbox Connect because where we have it right now, just underneath the TV there. I know you can't really see it because of the uh, couch, but it's just underneath the TV. Um, it can't always pick us up so I might get a mount and put it on the wall behind the TV maybe that might make a difference um, and then lastly you've all seen my intro that I have using Animoto uh, as well as a different program want to know if you guys think I should change it up should I switch the music should I switch the pictures up uh, let me know what you think down below down below and uh yeah, other than that, things are going well. We're both working as usual, of course. Getting boxes and stuff unpacked packed and what have you. Uh, got an awesome view of the mountains again. I don't know if you can see it from here. I'll see if I can move the camera here. Uh, no, you're not. All you see is the brightness. Okay. Oh, yeah, so that's the rest of the house. Looks the same. It's just a lot bigger now. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, other than that, things are good. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe down below. And we look forward to seeing you. Talk to you later. Bye for now.